Hey there, it is harvest day. My garden has been a little wild and crazy this fall. I've been busy and haven't been tending it nearly the way I should. So today I am setting aside some time to head out and see what I can pick. It is the end of October. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. Our first frost could be just a few days away. Last year it was in November, so I'm hoping that I've got at least three to four weeks left. Right now our temperatures are in the highs of 70s, sometimes breaking into the 80s, and our lows are hovering around the 40s and the 50s. So if you want to see what can be growing in a kitchen garden when the temps are like that at the end of the fall season, then step inside my kitchen garden with me and see what I can harvest. I wanna remind you that we have a free gift just for you for being part of Gardenary. You can get it simply by checking out the caption right below this video. And be sure you grab your spot in our upcoming live Gardenary workshop. It's happening soon and you can get your spot again right below this video. All right, let's go into the garden, see what we can find. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go hunt through the kitchen garden for peppers. I've got peppers hidden all throughout here and a lot of them I've neglected. So let's go see if any of them survived and how many we can find to harvest before frost comes. All right, we'll start with this pepper plant. I actually just added this trellis in uh, because these peppers are all falling over. So there is a bee in my hair um, and there's a few, um, there's a few different peppers planted all right here in a bunch. So there's two peppers. Let's see if we got some more. So this pepper plant, I think these are poblanos. Oops, that just fell off. This is poblano, this is one of my favorite peppers to grow in the garden. This one here, this is why I was adding the trellis because look, we have got one, two, three, four, all ready for harvest, which is pretty exciting. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, I think that's it from the big plants. So now let's check out these small plants. I think some of these are jalapenos. So we've got a little red jalapeno here. We've got another one here. To be honest, toward the end of the spring, I just started filling in the blanks with anything and everything. <laughs> so some of these peppers, I don't even know if they're hot or not. Okay. Here's some more. Look at all these cute little Cute little peppers. I don't know, what do you think? Are they hot or sweet? These, I would guess, are hot. Small ones sometimes feel dangerous, don't you think? Besides shishitos. All right, let's grab these. This one definitely looks spicy, don't you think? All right, we're filling up our bowl. Let's go around to the other beds. So these shishitos have taken quite a long time to get going, but we finally got some action. I love shishito peppers. They're one of my favorites. Here we have the bell pepper patch. 
these plants have been so prolific. They are probably my favorite crop of 2023 uh, because they have just given so much. I come out here and harvest a pepper probably every day. Um, just last night, I had them for tacos. The night before, we had um, a beef stir fry and we used them for that. Um, I cut them for omelets, for pizzas. Uh, I've never had so many bell peppers before and it's just been awesome. So there may not be a ton on the plants right now because uh, I just, I harvest them all the time. <laughs> all right, I see a few over there. Here's a few more poblanos. These look so pretty. Wow. We're going to have to do, I don't know what I'm going to make with all these. Poblano soup or something. Stuffed poblano peppers. And add these to the bowl. Ah, it's filling up. I think we're going to have a truth or dare with all my teenagers and they have to tell the truth or that the dare is they have to pick out of the pepper bowl and eat one. Do you guys think that sounds like a good idea? That'll be like my Halloween challenge or something with my kids. All right, it's time to get the tomatoes out of the garden. We're gonna get the large ones first, and then we'll get the small ones. Uh, I've had a ton of luck with this. I think this is a Roma tomato, and um, I don't know. I never know if I should pick the green ones or not. I might do that and see if I can ripen them indoors. But we've had so many that the squirrels have gotten their share. And I've gotten my share too. It's been pretty awesome. I think that's the most of the big ones. Now look at these cool ones here. These are a purple tomato. Aren't they so beautiful? Purple and green. I have to say, I haven't had a ton of luck with these this year. But they are delicious when they work out. Here's one that's actually closer to being done and they are so delicious but they take a really long time Let's get one. so pretty right all right these look so good i've gotten tomatoes off of this one tomato plant since i think early july I really like this tomato. I don't know the name of it though, but it's really good. All right, I think those are the ripe ones. I'll come back and get some green ones. All right, we're just gonna harvest these green ones. There's some more right here. Look at that. It's a ton. All right, it's time to do some massive harvesting of our cherry tomatoes, and I have a lot. <laughs> so uh, they're gonna, some of are green, some are red, some are yellow, some are this kind. I think it's like a bumblebee or something, isn't it cute? So we're just going to get at it with our pruners and we're gonna fill up this bowl. So we're starting empty and then let's see what happens, okay? Some of these are would have fallen off if the trellis wasn't holding them up. This one's really pretty. Come look at this one. 
I mean, is that picture perfect? Look at it, it's like a little rainbow. See? Ooh, did you see that? That was a hole in one. Let's see what we got here. Lots of green tomatoes. Tons. It's okay, we're gonna bring these in and let them ripen with a banana or something like that. Oh, that's so cute. So these have done really well. This trellis used to have cucumbers on it as well. Um, so those finished up a while ago and these tomatoes just keep going. And I love that, look at the bunches of these. The skins are thicker. So here's some more. These are just starting. I'm pretty good. I've been growing this lemongrass in its original pot. I haven't done anything to it. So I'm just gonna do some little harvest here. And you can actually harvest it right at the root. Each little stalk is like this. You can use it for so many things, for teas. Mm, it smells so good. You can use it for teas and cooking, seasonings. So I'm gonna harvest a few of these. Okay, got some lemongrass. Now we're gonna get some lemon balm. So you can see this is like it went to seed and then it started just growing fresh greens again. Okay, look at this gorgeous lemon balm. You can put it in a vase, flower arrangement, and then this lemongrass. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, we'll go add this to the pile. Check out all the food that we have harvested from my kitchen garden and look at this thing. It doesn't even look like we took anything from it. We first started out with some, I'll do the basil just to get it out of the way, but we have all this towering basil. This is perfect for freezing for pesto through the winter months. It's um, a towering basil. These things grow really, really tall and they have small, small leaves. Loads of this all summer long, and this is probably the last harvest of the year. We've got this Toscano kale. These plants have been giving to me all year long since very early spring. They're starting to be attacked by lots of caterpillars these days, but you know, that just means there's more antioxidants in the leaves, so I'm eating them. Then we've got loads of peppers. These gorgeous poblano peppers are one of my favorites. Uh, we've got these really beautiful bell peppers. I've been eating these bell peppers really almost every single day this whole season. Then we've got, oops, a tomato got into the pepper bowl. Uh, we've got these tiny jalapenos. I picked a lot of these. Some of them have turned red. Some of my peppers are falling away. Uh, some of them have turned red. Most of them are still green. And I think we're gonna do like a truth or dare game with my kids and see if I can get them uh, to try all these peppers. There's some shishito peppers somewhere down in here as well. Uh, it's just a big bowl full of peppers. Um, next up, we went for the large tomatoes. So we've got some green tomatoes I'm gonna bring in to ripen inside. We've got some Cherokee purple. We've got 
just some good old slicing tomatoes and then loads and loads of romas. We're going to um, enjoy the ripe ones and then try to ripen up a lot of these green ones. We've got a few of these gorgeous purple tomatoes as well. Then this huge bowl of herbs. We've got rosemary, we've got chives, we've got parsley, we've got oregano, we've got thyme, we've got literally hundreds of dollars worth of herbs in that one little bowl. All right, moving on, we've got all these cherry tomatoes. We've got black cherry, sun gold, and a couple of other varieties that I don't know their name. Uh, oh, a bumblebee uh, variety. So we're going to bring these in, let these ripen indoors as well. We've got the most fragrant lemongrass you've ever smelled. I've been growing this all summer, basically not paying any attention to it. So now it's time to start harvesting. Uh, lots of lemon balm, also been harvesting this all year. This is wonderful to put inside in your bathroom, in your bedroom, just put it in a little vase and the smell will just take over the space right away. Um, next up, we've got the squash. I had some prolific plants this year and the yellow squash gave me, let's just say more than I wanted, <laughs> um, but I'm thankful. They're nice and pretty and big and you can see some of them uh, got away from me, if you know what I mean. All right, not last but not least, we have these potatoes. I planted potatoes in barrels and also around the edge of the, the garden in the ground. And we've had loads of uh, potato harvest this year, including these cute little fingerling potatoes, the purple potatoes, the red potatoes, and we'll be ready to plant those again very soon, actually, in very early, early, early spring. So here is my spread. It is uh, the last week of October, and um, yeah, we're still harvesting so many great things from the garden. So I hope this inspires you to make plans now for your 2024 garden, for your new year garden, whenever it is you're watching this video. We have a resource to help you do just that and a live workshop coming up very soon. So check out the link right below this video to sign up, grab your spot and get your free gift from us here at Gardenary. I'll see you next time.